So we have discussed the metabolism. Now we will discuss types of metabolism or processes of metabolism. So first of all, which is the most common type of metabolism that active drug is converted into inactive metabolite. This holds true for most of the drugs or we can say it's a most common type of metabolism means active drug is converted into an inactive metabolite. For example, phenobarb or phenobarbitone is converted into hydroxyphenobarbitone which is a simpler form and it will get eliminated. Phenytoin is converted into p-hydroxyphenytoin which is the inactive metabolite and it will get eliminated or excreted. There is other types like active drug is converted into an active metabolite. Here, whenever there is a drug metabolism occurs, there is occurrence of inactivation of a drug. But in this type of metabolism, active drug is converted into an active metabolite means both forms of drug are act as a active moiety. Here examples like codeine which is active drug and when it get metabolized, it will convert it into an active metabolite that is morphine. For example, diazepam which is also an active drug but after metabolism it will get converted into an oxazepam. So this is also one type of metabolism when active drug is converted into an active metabolite. Now third type in which inactive drug that is prodrug is converted into an active metabolite means before metabolism it is in an inactive state but after metabolism it will get active and that is called as prodrug. Examples like levodopa is a prodrug because it is converted into dopamine after metabolism. Prednisone is a prodrug which is converted into prednisolone after metabolism. So what is this prodrug? Prodrug means it is an inactive form of a drug which is converted into an active form after metabolism. What is prodrug? Prodrug it is an inactive form of a drug which is converted into an active form after metabolism. After metabolism is important. Now what is the significance of this prodrug? Significance of prodrug means it helps to improve the bioavailability. It is denoted by small f. Symbol is small f. So what is the significance of prodrug? To improve the bioavailability. So how come it improves the bioavailability? We will see an example of Parkinsonism. In Parkinsonism, there is a deficiency of dopamine. So we can't give dopamine itself because dopamine itself cannot be used because it does not cross blood-brain barrier. Dopamine itself cannot be used because it does not cross blood-brain barrier. So it should be given in the form of prodrug like levodopa which is a dopamine precursor. Levodopa which crosses blood-brain barrier and it is then converted into the dopamine. So here you can see levodopa cannot cross blood-brain barrier. That's why levodopa which is a dopamine precursor given as a prodrug that levodopa is converted into dopamine with the help of dopa decarboxylase and it will cross blood-brain barrier and it will convert it into dopamine where there is needed. So this is the prolongation of duration of action. Prolongation of duration of action. Like phenothiazines have shorter duration of action but if we use esters of phenothiazines like flufenazine, they have longer duration of action means it will help to prolong the duration of action. Example is phenothiazines, they have shorter duration of action. But if we use esters of phenothiazines like flufenazine, which is a prodrug, they have longer duration of action. To improve the test, for example, clindamycin, uh, it is having bitter test. But if we use clindamycin palmitate suspension, clindamycin, palmitate suspension. Mostly we use this suspension for the pediatric purpose or in pediatric age group and to improve the test means clindamycin is having bitter test but clindamycin palmitate suspension which is a prodrug we use for a pediatric age group for better test and for the site specific drug delivery. What is this site specific drug delivery or target specific drug delivery? Methanamine is converted into formaldehyde in the acidic pH of urine, in the acidic pH of urine, which is a prodrug, methanamine is a prodrug which is converted into formaldehyde when, when there is an acidic pH of urine and that formaldehyde act as a urinary antiseptic. So we can use that formaldehyde as a urinary antiseptic. So these are the various significance or importance of prodrugs.